Well, I'm announcing today that uh, the statewide mask mandate will be lifted, uh, effective uh, today. Uh, and I would add that uh, this does not mean that the use of the mask will cease. After 253 days, Arkansas's mask mandate is no more, but like the governor said, that doesn't mean you'll never have to wear a mask again. Businesses, schools, and other organizations can choose to continue to require face coverings in their establishments, and the governor urged Arkansans to respect those decisions. So the mask mandate is lifted. Now what? In Little Rock, very little is actually going to change right away because Mayor Frank Scott says he'll keep it in place in the city for the month of April. But T311's Jordan Howington digs into what it means for schools and some businesses elsewhere. We are uh, allowing local districts to make the decisions on whether they want to continue having a a mask mandate at the local level. I spoke with some school districts Tuesday that are immediately heading to their school boards this week to make decisions to either keep or opt out of their mask policy. The Department of Ed says school boards must take action. Districts have to uh, publish their plan for continued safe operation uh, on their website as a requirement of the Federal American Rescue Plan. Some districts like Bryant have already decided to keep their mask policy through the end of the school year. And those that do and who wear their mask properly will not be required to quarantine if exposed. If at least one of those individuals were not wearing their mask properly, then the traditional quarantine guidelines apply. Restaurants are also impacted by the governor's announcement. We will be able to open back up fully and do the uh, all-you-can-eat breakfast buffet on Saturday. At Jimmy's Diner, they say this could bring the boost in business they've needed. The owner, Eddie Jones, says he will not require masks now. It's up to the customer. If they want to wear one, that's their right. Other restaurants like Dizzy's, Dugan's, and Purple Cow say they will keep their mask policies. But whether it's a school, business, salon, or restaurant, Governor Hutchinson says Arkansans should respect everyone's decision. He also encourages all Arkansans 16 and older to get vaccinated. We want Arkansans to get it because this is our path out of the pandemic. Jordan Howington, THV 11 News. Five other states began the day without mask mandates, including our neighbors in Texas and Mississippi. Cases have been going down in both of those places. Now, for more information on our status, just text the word FACTS, F-A-C-T-S, to 501-376-1111. Now, the governor set out guidelines in reaching his decision today. Hospital patients have actually been below the governor's goal that set out at 750 back in the middle of February, several weeks before he announced his plan for ending this mask mandate. As of this this afternoon, 170 people are still fighting the virus from a hospital bed. That's up six from yesterday. Meanwhile, cases are back up after two days of numbers under triple digits. 178 new infections reported today. 15 deaths added to the tally. Uh, and, but Dr. Jose Romero says that seven of those are from delayed reports. And finally, the most positive news to come out of today's numbers are active cases still on the decline. 1,717 Arkansans are still dealing with COVID-19 this evening. That's down 56 from yesterday and the lowest that number has been since last summer.